All right, good morning. It's Monday morning. We're in Greenville, South Carolina. It's been a week since I've gotten sick. I think I'm almost better, but I'm still congested. I don't have much of a voice. But we'll survive. We'll try to make a video. All right, so we got our uh, insulation unloaded this morning. And then we went over and picked up some reels of cable. And now we're at a little rest stop, rest area here in North Carolina. Nice little rest area. And uh, <coughs> somebody mentioned that maybe I was having allergies. And they may be right. Because look at all the trees in bloom and everything. But uh, I've never had a re reaction to allergies like this or pollen like this. Oh, I'm still congested. My throat hurts. Can't talk well. And we're going on one week. So I'm not too sure. Um, we'll go out and take a look at our Rizzo cable. Super easy. So we are heading to Cheyenne, Wyoming. They uh, they provide all these the uh, man coil racks. I already got enough of them, so I don't know what I'll do with them when I'm done. Thirteen thousand pounds, got eight reels, so I think about fifteen thousand pounds of reel, something like that, somewhere around that. Since we are light. We'll go ahead and raise the axle up on our Dorsey trailer, our dirty Dorsey trailer. I actually went out of my way to come down to this rest area. I actually went about eight miles the wrong direction so I could come to this rest area. 
but like hanging out here. I'm gonna uh, eat some lunch and then uh, might make it all the way back to Louisville. So, sooner we can get this stuff off the trailer. But it loaded up pretty good. Knock on wood, truck's doing good. It has lost its truck show shine. Yeah, we'll see if we can work on it. Alright, so we got a little change of plans. For you guys that know about the gorge, it's in North Carolina, it's on I-40 connects North Carolina and Tennessee together. Google Maps says there's like a two hour backup in the gorge. So we might go around it. But I don't have enough fuel to go around it. And I was trying to avoid buying expensive North Carolina fuel. But I think I'm going to get one tank or something. Just enough to get me somewhere else. I bought fuel yesterday over to pilot in Pioneer, Tennessee. And my price wasn't that bad. It was like three, three thirty a gallon. I don't think it's that cheap here. If it was cheap, this place would be packed. So we'll get a little bit of splash and go. Look again at the traffic conditions. of fuel just enough to get me out of here I don't know if it'll show if you guys can see it or not it's an hour and 45 minute backup in the gorge so we have a couple options we can go to Asheville and get on, uh, what was it, 26? 26. And run 26 all the way up like we're going to Middlesbrough, Kentucky. And run it all the way over towards uh, the, uh, like we're going to Louisville. But it sure is hilly. So, if we go that way, I don't know. It says if we go that way, or I could take my chances and just go get stuck in traffic. It's hilly going that way. At 26 from Asheville up to Kingsport is 
uh, is real hilly. We're not heavy. So. I don't know. I'm too tired. My brain is so messed up. To figure out what I want to do. I know I don't want to sit in traffic for an hour and a half. Alright, so I decided to take 26 out of Asheville up to up to let me see where I'm going here. Alright, so I decided to take 26 out of Asheville, and we're going to go up to Johnson City, Tennessee, up towards Kingport, up towards Middlesbrough, uh, let's see, let me get to Kentucky, so we're going to take 26 up to, I think it's 58, and then we're going to run... 58 over into Kentucky and then pick up we'll pick up what is it 26 I think it's 20 or 25 in Kentucky does that sound right I did this once before All right, I think I got it worked out. We're gonna take 26 up to 81, take 81 south towards Jefferson City. Or Morristown, Morristown again on 25. 25 over to Millsboro. And then that'll take us over to 75, which will put us over by Loudoun, Kentucky. Does all that make sense? We got five hours and 43 minutes to figure it out. So anyway, we're at the top of a mountain. Look in the mirror. This is supposed to be like a brake check thing. You got to come in here. But you don't have to stop. There's no sign that says stop. You just got to come through here. But just like a brake check thing. And then you go out this way. We're climbing some big hills. But we're really light. So it doesn't, it doesn't bother us too much. Bailey's done ate her sandwich. Or ate, ate her food. I'm going to make a sandwich. And then we're going to hit it again.
tip of the day. I don't know if I saved any time or not. We're over here in near Loudoun, Kentucky now on I-75. We're at the way station where I was a week ago. Sick. I slept here. We're back at the way station and I'm still sick and it's been a week. So we came up 40, came across 40 to 26, 26 to 81, 81 down to, uh, I forget the number. Anyway, we made our way to Highway 25, which runs across through Middlesbrough, Kentucky, comes out over in Loudoun over here, and uh, we missed all the gorge. So. When I was getting on the interstate over there, I don't know, I think it's Loudon is the name of the town. When I was getting on the interstate right there, there was a flatbed who had green tarps. And I saw him over on I-40 when I was getting fuel at the Loves. And he didn't come the same way I did. But uh, me and him getting on the, or he was passing, I was getting on anyway. Assuming that he didn't stop or anything, I come out the same. I don't know. I don't know. Bailey sees people outside. Oh, man. I get better. I'm getting better every day, just a little bit. But I think I should be getting better faster. I don't know if I'm going to go to a doctor or something. we got to get to Cheyenne, Wyoming. And I'll tell you about Cheyenne later when I can talk some more. The reason I'm going. But uh, anyway, Bailey's been a good girl. Here, people want to see Bailey. There's Bailey. There's Bailey, dog. Say good night. We're done for today. Bailey. Bailey. All right. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching.